Welcome back, Psych2Goers. Thank you so much for all the love and support you've given us, enabling us to make yet another exploration into everyday psychology. So let's begin. Despite being relatively common, depression is a mental illness still poorly understood by many. We want to build a community for those of you suffering from depression and acknowledge the way you may feel. Even as life continues to get busier, it is important to remember how important it is to prioritize your well-being and engage in self-care. Psych2Go's mission is not only to educate about mental health, but also support those with mental illnesses who feel alone. But please remember, this should not be used to self-diagnose. If you resonate with any of the following signs, it's important to seek professional help. It can help you feel seen and supported. With that said, here are six things people with depression can relate to. 1. Can you see me? The pain of depression is large and looming. At times, it can feel insurmountable. Then why is it so hard for others to see your pain? It's so clearly laid out in your head that it seems impossible for others to miss. On the flip side, others with depression wonder if they themselves are hidden. You may feel like others can only see your pain and not everything else about you. To those of you who relate, I see you. I see your pain and I know you're much more. Depression is a heavy burden, but know that it doesn't diminish all the other qualities that make you who you are. 2. Am I enough? Yes, you are. You are more than enough. You are valuable and amazing the way you are, despite what the voices in your head might be telling you. As heartbreaking as this is, some people suffering from depression find this question circling in their minds quite often. The symptoms you experience may leave you in a pit of despair, and that's okay acknowledging these feelings and reminding yourself that they are a story in your mind. You don't need to be productive to be worthy. You don't need to be social to be important. Even if all you did was get out of bed, you are still enough and you matter more than you know. 3. I wish I were nicer to myself. Every setback feels debilitating. Every disappointment, catastrophic. Depression can do this to you. It distorts your sense of self, which can deplete your self-image. As a result, each mistake you make seems to only confirm the negative way in which some of you have grown to view yourselves. But it is important to give yourself grace. No mistake or setback defines you. You're human, and by that definition, you are not perfect, and that's more than okay. Despite what your mind is telling you, remember that you are strong, important, and loved. 4. It's more than just being sad. Do people around you think that depression only encompasses sadness? Those of you who suffer from depression can understand not only how narrow that mindset is, but also how dismissive it can sound. Sure, one of the most common symptoms of depression is extreme, prolonged sadness, but it's more than that. Some people may experience a wide range of symptoms, from social withdrawal, to apathy, to insomnia, and more and others may experience a whole other mental illness comorbid with their depression. Examples of these include anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, bipolar disorder, and more. If you can relate to hearing this, know that your feelings and emotions are totally valid and acceptable. 5. Is it just me? Despite knowing the statistics of how common depression seems to be, some individuals suffering from depression can't help but feel alone sometimes. Maybe it's because no one else around you is depressed. Maybe your combination of symptoms is unique. Even maybe it's because depression is still stigmatized in your community. Whatever the case, feeling alone is unfortunately more common than you may think. But you are not alone. Suffering from depression can be debilitating, and no one should feel the way they are going at it by themselves. 6. Will it be like this forever? There was a time when happiness felt so far out of reach, and it seemed like life was stuck in a cycle of sadness and despair. But it can get better. There is no shame in having this disorder, and there is absolutely no shame in getting help. It took me a long time to learn this, but once I did, my world truly changed. I kept a gratitude journal and spent time reflecting on the great things about my life. Nature became my sanctuary. During the day, I was more present in each moment, and mindful of all my emotions, good and bad. And slowly, I started to see the world opening up in ways I never thought possible. It wasn't easy, and it's still not perfect, but it gave me hope and energy to create a brighter future. Always do what's best for you. Take as much time as you need. If something doesn't work, don't give up. 
and remember that you are worthy, you are loved, and you are not alone. Are you struggling with depression? How has your outlook changed? Do let us know in the comments below. We hope this video provides you with encouragement, support, and comfort, and help you feel seen and understood. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit like and share it with someone searching for answers to these experiences of depression. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more content. Thanks for watching!